Professor Lei, thank you so much for joining CGT and Nature. I know you're in Geneva attending the COP14, and this time China's commitment on establishing the International Mangrove Center in Shenzhen receives a lot of attention. So first, tell us why is saving mangrove forests important for wetlands conservation? Yes, uh, mangrove is the most valuable ecosystem in the world. It's not only the livelihood for the local communities, but also critical habitat for uh, endangered species, for fishes, for plants, for migratory water birds. Unfortunately, over the past uh, half a century, one third of the mangrove forest disappeared. I know China is one of the few countries in the world that are seeing mangrove expansion. So what has China done to protect mangrove forests in the past few decades? Uh, China realized uh, the importance of mangroves in safeguarding livelihood of local communities, in biodiversity conservation, in addressing global climate change, because mangroves are very important, blue carbon. So the government attached great importance to mangrove conservation and, and restoration. The central government has uh, uh, issued a number of national policy legislations to protect and restore mangroves. So this makes the major difference. What is the significance of the International Mangrove Center and why was Shenzhen chosen? That's a very, very, very important question. Um, the reason why Shenzhen, because uh, Shenzhen is one of the modern cities in China. It's also bordering Hong Kong special administrations. And uh, both Hong Kong and Shenzhen uh, have a shared mangrove ecosystems. The local government has uh, made all the effort to conservation and restoration of, of mangrove forest. What are the functions of the center and what roles will the center play in mangrove protection? For the future uh, perspectives, uh, in particular, the International Mangrove Center will play a very important role to build capacity in global communities for the mangrove conservation and restoration, to integrate mangrove conservation into a sustainable development by a special innovative mechanisms, such as a blue carbon. And these are going to be long-term sustainability mechanisms. China has demonstrated this in China for many rivers, many wetlands, with this eco-compensation mechanisms. China's ecological civilization uh, philosophy will be a very important uh, idea uh, for the global communities to share. And then of course, this center will become a very important uh, platform for South-South, South-North cooperation for the Green Belt and Road initiatives.